Hi guys, Kate here from Lee's Bird Rants. On Wednesday, the 24th of May, 2023. Guys, with Leeds hurtling back down to the championship like, let's face it, a lead balloon, questions have been ongoing for some time now about who is responsible for the current mess. And, you know, while engaging in a kind of angry blame game can make us all feel a bit better in the short term, long term, guys, we have to move on and look to the future. Now, there's loads of chatter around who the next manager will be or won't be, players who are going to stay, players who are going to leave. But the most important appointment, in my opinion, that the owners, whoever they are, must make is that of sporting director. The vacancy that, let's face it, came about following the sacking of the catastrophic Victor Orta, who, in my opinion, again, is largely to blame for the current mess we find ourselves. Why? Because his successful signings of game-changing players like Rafinha in 2020, Ben White on loan from Brighton, Mateus Click, Harrison, and more recently, of course, Nonto, have been far outweighed, overshadowed, in fact, by his absolute screamers. Take, for example, the Jean-Kevin Augustin debacle from RB Leipzig. The guy ended up playing 48 minutes of football and costing us around about £45 million, guys. That's nearly a million pounds for every minute he played. Take damn James, £25 million and sent out on loan 12 months later. Brendan Aronson, mediocre at best for £25 million and not really what we wanted. And then, of course, Georginia Rutter. The £35 million record signing bought to plug the gap at the front and who started once since arriving in January. Guys, the list goes on. Now, according to the 21st group, while the role of a sporting director may vary, finding the right candidate, guys, is critical critical for ensuring sustained success on and off the pitch, something which Leeds haven't experienced since finishing ninth in their first season back in the Premier League. Now, research has also found that clubs who overachieve, i.e. those that outperform their spend level, have a sporting director in post for, on average, nine years. Examples of this are Michael Edwards at Liverpool, and Gabriel Zemanya of At Atlanta. Ed was, of course, the brains behind Liverpool's player recruitment. You know, decisions that have helped Klopp mould a Liverpool team that went on to claim a Champions League and a Premier League title. So make no mistake, guys, this role is vital to lead success next season. And, you know, when I see names banded around on various websites, like, for example, Stuart Webber from Norwich, just because he's a Leeds fan, I have to actually question who is writing this garbage. Clearly someone with no aspiration whatsoever, who's happy for Leeds to sink into the mediocre yo-yo club psychodrama that plagues Norwich every season. We do not want that. We do not want that mediocrity. This guy has made some appalling signings. He spent six years at the club and Norwich are now languishing in 13th place in the championship. That's the track record. You know, Weber spent nine and a half million quid on Milo Rashica, who scored two goals in 40 appearances. He spent nine million on Christos Zolis, three goals in 30 appearances. And he paid 10 million to sign Josh Sargent, who scored two goals in the last campaign. This is not the calibre of person we should be looking towards as our next sporting director. His name shouldn't even be mentioned in the same breath as Leeds United. I don't care if he's got MOT tattooed on his ass. He is not good enough, guys. Now, we need a sporting director with a pedigree. You know, I can dream, but someone like um, Giuseppe Morota, you know, currently with Inter and probably there until 2025. But this is a type of guy we need. This guy oversaw one of the greatest revivals in footballing history with Juventus. They went from Serie B to becoming the dominant force in Serie A, you know. He's got a reputation of signing great players on free transfers like 
Paul Pogba and Aaron Ramsey. You know, he also signed Carlos Tevez, Patrice Evra and Danny Alves on very cheap deals. He brought in Antonio Conti and later uh, Maximiliano Allegri as managers during his tenure. You know, or if you think that's a little bit too fanciful, what about Michael Edwards, who, you know, I mentioned earlier in relation to Liverpool. He literally helped transform Liverpool from underachievers to one of the best teams in the world. He oversaw the appointment of Jurgen Klopp and signings like Mane, Salah, um, Andrew Robinson, Van Dijk and Alisson, Fabinho. The list is endless. Now... Guys, we need to aim high. We need someone with vision, not some two-bit charlatan who doesn't know his ass from his elbow and holds space for mediocrity. We deserve better. There are loads of great candidates for the job of sporting director at Leeds United. I mean, Monchi at Seville. I know we're not going to get these guys right, but Louis Campos at PSG. Obviously, you have to bear in mind that we'll probably be a championship club. So clearly, you know, we're limited to a certain extent. But, you know, that's where we need to be smart and not jump at the first name that's pulled out of the hat, like Stuart Webber at Norwich. Kate out.